Good evening. I'm here today with Janelle Aguillon. She's a teacher for the special needs abroad. Uh, I'll be asking her a few questions today. Uh, so let's get on with it. Okay. Uh, I'd like to ask you on your thoughts about extrajudicial killings. Well, of course, I am against it, even though I can cite advantage because it lessens the criminals in the society. But of course, we are Christians and in human perspective, we are all um, we are all equal in the sight of God and we deserve due process. And my, as a teacher, my heart really goes with juvenile delinquents, those children or teenagers that are conflict with the law. Yes, uh, I actually agree with it. But the way I see it is that, you know, Philippines is after a drug-free and a war-free country, right? Yes. I believe that not following the judicial system and going on on extrajudicial killings is just the height of uh, killings as itself is just a bad thing. And people or citizens do not have that right to do it because there are laws that protect us. Our basic rights, you know, to live our life, liberty, and all that. And that law protects us so we could keep that freedom that we want. And, you know, such as the drug free uh, war, and that the Philippines wants a drug free country. People should try to understand what, on, or why people use drugs, you know, because you need to know how it started or what the root of that problem was on how people started doing it, because there's always reasons on why they do it. So, do you have anything else to say? Well, for me, extrajudicial killing is a, is a broad, broad problem, because you cannot only say it's about um, the drugs, or small crimes. There's also vigilants wherein they're not law enforcers, yes. but then they they think of themselves as the heroes of the citizens, and they kill anyone who is um, conflict with the law. Yes. And also on the media side, we have freedom of press, and then. Of course, you know there are politicians who would um, kill the media. I think it's a broad um, problem. Yes. It can be in, in the different ways with the uh, media, small crimes, or that's one with the drugs. Ask you the last one, extra judicial killings. Um, for me, uh, extra judicial killings are, uh, it's kind of matter, I disagree with the world due to the fact that uh, it's, it has the word killings in it. And first of all, murder is right in the eyes of God in the, in the, in the law itself. So, any person not in authority killing another person is just uh, simply just murder. So I agree with you because I believe that should be racial killings are unethical and they're outside the law, which is not exposing that, such as killing them. As you said, officials, only officials are allowed to do that if there is a reason to kill them. But as a person, they should not be allowed to kill them. Very important. Uh, thank you for your time. Good evening. Uh, I'm Christian. Uh, good evening. And uh, what is your name? I'm CJ. CJ, that's a nice name. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. I'd like to ask you on your thoughts on extrajudicial tools. Yeah, about that, I think it's a very good idea. Because today, people are scared. Yes. Because uh, a few years ago, people just do things what they want. And uh, with this, 
extrajudicial killing. People nowadays like scared to do things. Yeah, that's your opinion about that. I mean, I stand on it definitely because I disagree with it. Because I'm not a lawyer, I'm just a citizen of the world, you know. I just believe every citizen should know their rights about the laws and the judicial system. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're not dogs on leashes because of the law, but we just need to know our basic rights because we have, you know, uh, the freedom to live our, our life, our lives, and uh, we have that liberty and, you know, more things, but people should just know their basic rights and that the laws are not there to, you know, stop us from doing things that we want. Yeah. It just protects us from each other and it protects our rights as a person to live. Uh, do you have any more things to say about Yeah, about that. Uh, I think uh, people nowadays don't know about the rules anymore. Yes. You know, just do what they want. Yes. You know, if I was the person doing uh, what I want, I think I'm going to kill that person. You know, I'm going to do that. You know, nobody, uh, nobody, uh, nobody cares about the law anymore. That's true, that's true. I mean, I stand on it the same way as you do, you know, if someone tries to touch me, I would touch them back, Yeah. I would slap, slap them, anything, but, you know, just, uh, boundaries, you know, Yeah. going to killings, I just don't believe people should kill because they think that they're the suspect, yeah, that's just how I stand on it, uh, I'd like to thank you for your time, yes sir, thank you sir. Get on your knees. Hey, bro, I thought we were going to push Look space, down, bro. look down, look down. No, no, no. Look no. down, look down. killings and forced disappearance in the Philippines are illegal executions, unlawful or felonious killings and forced disappearance in the Philippines. These are forms of extrajudicial punishments and include extrajudicial executions, summary executions, arbitrary arrest, and detentions, failed prosecutions due to political activities of leading political, trade union members, dissident, and political figures. These left-wing political parties, non-governmental organizations, political journalists, outspoken clergy, anti-mining activists, agricultural reform activists, members of the organization that are allied to the legal fronts of the communist movements, 
like the Bayan crew or the suspected supporters of the NPA, the New People's Army. Extrajudicial killings is also a synonym with the term extra-legal killing.